Ladies and gentlemen, look on the screen. Two victims, a father and his child. Often, I've often said these Thustinas, they are just as deadly as the mammies that support these dust, these evil, deadly, demonic, homicidal, maniac dust buckets. They are just as deadly. It's like they're in a competition to see who can be the most destructive, the deadliest one. Let's look at the allegations facing her, what the po police are saying that she's suspected of doing. Check it out. Fair use. Tonight, officers make headway in a case that has left a family grieving for the last month and a half, but they still need help so that family can receive justice. Investigators want to locate 30-year-old Samantha Bowens. They believe she was involved in a shooting back on November 20th Ooh, in the Oak Court Mall parking lot. That shooting left a young father, 21-year-old Jason Hill, dead. Family members tell us his nine-month-old son, Jalen, who he was holding at the time of the shooting, was shot five times. He was just taking Jalen to the mall that day to buy him some shoes and some things for Christmas. Little Jalen, whose aunt mm. told us he was shot in the cheek, neck, hand, foot, and thigh, has been at Lavonner Children's Hospital fighting an uphill battle to survive. Surveillance cameras from inside the mall captured several images of those believed to be involved in the shooting. While they look for Bowens, tonight investigators also need help identifying and tracking down a man they believe to be involved. They say those responsible possibly got away in a silver Chevy Malibu. Family members don't understand why the dad would be targeted. He was a hardworking man. He worked two jobs. He also cut hair. Like he was a very, um, got his head straight on as a young, you know, as a young man. So I don't see why someone could have done it to him or why would they even do it with him? And, and he had his child as well. Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. If you know anything, call Crime Stop. Well, could be bad place at, bad, at a bad time, but in the BC, in the BC, I've said it before, and unfortunately, uh, condolences to the family. If you are trying to build, work hard, and do something with your life, the most dangerous place for a black person to be, if you are wanting to be productive, it's going to be in the BC. Oh, yeah. It's facts. The community shows it every day. This is the only dumb group that sits up here with so many dusters and dust buckets. You sit up here, and I speak in collectively, not every single person. Anybody trying to build something because you got so many mammies raising these dust buckets and dust tinas. And hold on, I got to stop right here with this chick. They said 30 years old. This chick looking every bit of 50. 30 years old. I don't know if crime and dust took those edges out. 30 years old. This woman has had a, she looks like a grandmother. Maybe she's had a hard life and you're angry and you want to go ahead and ruin the lives of others. Again, if you are hardworking, if you want to build something and you're a black, the worst place to be is in, in the BC. Shot and killed the man, 21 years old. So he's gone and dead, working two jobs. Some of these dust buckets won't even do one job, then cutting hair. Want to be uh, so that right there, an entrepreneur. So all we're left with is a dust bucket entrepreneur, because all he do is kill and steal wherever he go. The entrepreneur is gone, but we got entrepreneur dust bucket. And then to kill, shoot five times at the bank. Shoot five times at the baby. You want to holler about racism. It does exist. But so does violence and danger and death in the BC. How about we try and tackle that? That's a, I mean, seriously. What kind of human being would shoot this beautiful baby boy five times? 
what kind of what you, you I would say subhuman go to the mall just start shooting was robbery a motive is he walking with some bags that their raggedy butts can't afford So many don't have a father and that they have a donor and he sure as hell not trying to work two jobs to support him. This one, he works two jobs to support his kid and look what happens. Welcome to the BC. Baby, just, I mean a baby. And now he laying up in the ER. Why? He was around some black folks, some dust buckets. That's who they're looking for. Baby doll, welcome to the BC, where tragedy and possible death awaits thee. This is sad. It's unforgivable. I keep telling you, these dust buckets, these dustinas, these dusties, they are killing y'all. The good people, they're killing out the well. And then you sit around and wonder why you're dumb behind. They're saying, oh, $50 billion is missing from the black community because black men have such high unemployment. Well, hell, the dumb fools are killing out the industrial people. Let's do, and I'm going to do that video on Patreon because <clears throat> I want to say some things. And I had to catch myself that I maybe I maybe not can say on YouTube. But we'll keep it real on Patreon. What the hell you expect? I don't want Animal Planet in my place either. Each time somebody try to build something, try to build, you get killed. And you wonder why you have high unemployment. Really, fool? Yeah, we'll discuss it on Patreon because I'm going to tell you something. All this right here is the white man's fault. Let's not act brand new. Sure, there's been a lot of racism, history, and all that. You don't want skip it. But the white man ain't whispering to your ear, you know, pulling a white guy whisperer. Go and kill somebody that looks like you. Go kill the black person. You got this community. You give this white man more credit. I mean, seriously, you got him controlling your your man's man part. A black girl told me about a uh, something about a black man not paying child support and a bunch of kids. And when she said that, girl, I really want it like inside my mind. It's like kind of like smack you and like you got to be kidding me. Well, it's the white man's fault. So I'm like, oh, so the white man is the DC. Excuse the expression. He's the dick controller. He controls your man's dick. Girl, please. It's the white man's fault. I Why she said that to me, I don't know. But I knew then we don't need to have no more conversation because I just said it is so stupid. It's the white. So the white man is the DC. He's controlling. He's the dick controller. Is that right? He, I, was, I just can't wrap my head around that statement. I, I cannot make it make sense. I said, this woman is crazy. And you in your 30s, educated? It's the white man's fault that little Titi got some illegitimate kids. Yeah, okay. I, I, I just can't. I can't rationalize it. And at that point, sometimes... You hear something that's so stupid and you want to, you, you know, you don't want to really go there. It's just best to walk away. But this on the screen, we, we have to face it. We really have black people, women and men. They pretty much just work for the clan. You just like getting paid chocolate drop. You're so stupid. So this kind of, this about the child really sends me over and the young black men. Again, I just did another... You're trying to build, get you killed. You're trying to sustain a lifestyle for yourself, not in Blackistan. I am convinced a lot of these people, these sustainers and these stuffies, they like poverty. But you want to defund the police? No, we got to do hashtag defund the dusties and the dustinas. If it were up to me, this may sound mean and cruel. If these women can't say who the man is or the child, we can't find them, I wouldn't be giving them any more financial assistance. You can't name him? 
don't know where he is. Well, guess what? You must be the dumb broad of the day. And like you don't know where he is, guess what? How you going to eat and live? Guess what? I don't know where he is. Because if you can't find him, the state not paying, not playing your man today. I don't know where he is. Really? So you're stupid. You let a man make a deposit and you don't know where he is? Oh, you don't want to name him. When you can name him, we can get these benefits done. Until then, where am I going to go, girl? Where did you go when you were laying up with Boo? Under a bridge? Go, go there. And once you found these little men, we would do a background check. If he has multiple felonies, uh, that would be a precursor with no benefits. I would gladly tell him you're an IOD or incubator of destruction. He's got multiple felonies, and you want us to pay, we're not paying for thee. My baby, my, find your man, boo. Put me in charge. You'll see what'll happen. Oh, we're going to get some milk control going open here. We're going to de-dust the community. It may take a while. Oh, yeah. You do programs like that. You can't name him. We can't name any benefits here. You, uh-uh. We, you can't, I don't know where he is. You can't name, you give him a fake name. When we can find out who the father is, then we can discuss it. I don't know where, then that's on you. You have, you don't have a name or anything. Then that's on you. Then once we find and want a background check, ma'am, he has multiple felonies. So why you would get pregnant by felonious character, that's, I don't know what to tell you. But what I am going to tell you right now is go ahead and hit that door. You might want to find you a job like ASAP. And you might want to try to use some birth control try to up your game a little bit. Okay? So have a nice day. But the taxpayers, we're not, we're not paying for you today, boo-boo. Not happening. You can have it your way. You chose to have your, let a man have his way with you. Have it your way. And we're going to have it our way. We're not supporting any foolishness. That's one way to de-dust it. And somebody knows who the other dust buckets are. It'll be a mammy. They'll be real quiet. George Flores, four-year-old. She's got her little bullet shots experience. Now look at this here. Now we're sitting up here. Our father is gone. And now we have a baby. What the hell? Shot five times. I can't shot five times and we need police reform you need dusty reform you need birth control reform who would shoot a child five kill the father and shoot a child five times but you want to defund you defund the police these fools it'll be like uh it'll be, i guess like wider it'll be like afghanistan Afghanistan may not have this kind of action. The baby's in the BC. So a young man working hard, two jobs, support his child here. In his child's life, obviously. And this is what the BC would do to you. And then think somebody tonight, and they haven't caught him. Somebody knows who who hang with that wildebeest. Where is she at, wildebeest? Mm-hmm. Somebody knows who hang with this wildebeest. Who she hang with, Cletus and Nero and little Gigi. Somebody knows. Not gonna say nothing. Gotta be quiet, y'all. Be quiet. Protect it. Two other suspects. This might need to be called instead of for my man, for my Dusty. And she hasn't given them up yet. Based on their support, they're still looking. I mean, I wonder, has she given the names? They have a picture. So we still got her. And I guess the two other Dusty suspects. But the entrepreneur, this young man right here, he's gone. Child shot five times. Generation of wealth was a positive 21 and working two jobs of business. Wiping out they're wiping out their intelligence. Generational wealth. So he's gone. We got a whole lot of dust buckets left. The entrepreneur is gone. 
and the entrepreneur grow gets to live on, heaping up more dust, more death. Dust is being drama, they being trauma. The financial implications is too much stuff in the nations. Look at the medical bills what this child is having to go through, hooked up to a machine five times. The care afterwards. We don't know what kind of damage he may be facing later. In the neck, I believe, it's crazy. Black is staying. Who is two or three, child? You do not want to be. I'm out.